I want to share something that the Lord had shown me a couple days ago. It is knowledge straight from heaven. And um, it is in regards to those who mock and scoff. And if you are praying for someone in your family or um, someone that you know that is a typical person who mocks and scoffs at the truth or the gospel, uh, this message is important for you to hear, okay? The Lord told me that every single time a, a mocker or scoffer or someone who speaks against the truth does this, um, every time they do this, their chains in the spirit become stronger. The chains that bind them become stronger. Um, this is supported by Isaiah twenty eight twenty two, that says, And now do not carry on as scoffers, or your fetters will be made stronger. I looked up the word fetter, F-E-T-T-E-R, and it is a chain used to restrain a prisoner. So he says every single time they mock and scoff, their chains become stronger. It's important for us to understand this because if we are in prayer for these people, um, we need to know how to pray for them effectively, okay? Um, John eight thirty two says, uh, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Okay, it is the truth that sets us free. So when we are praying for these individuals who tend to mock and scoff at the truth, um, we need to be praying truth over them. We need to be taking truths from scripture and claiming that it over them. Um, we need to be praying that their eyes open up to the truth because it is the truth that sets us free. Okay. Um, the Lord says that much warfare is needed because the chains are very strong in these areas. Um, typically those who mock and scoff do it, um, not just once, but over and over again. So we need to be fighting in the spirit to break these chains off of them. Um, a lot of times things happen in the spirit before they happen in the natural and our battle is not in the natural. It is in the spiritual realm. Okay. So it, I'm just, um, relaying this information that the Lord let me know so that we can be more effective in our prayers. Um, we need to be praying truth over them. We need to be praying that God, um, pulls them into truth, um, when I pray, I, I just ask the Lord that, you know, he bomb, bombards them with truth everywhere they look. Truth, 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 so that they cannot escape it. Um, it's because the truth sets us free, okay? Um, if, you, if you feel like, you know, you are praying for this certain person and there doesn't seem to be any movement, any results. The Lord says, keep praying because much warfare is needed. Um, so every time they mock and scoff, it just gets stronger and stronger. Their chains do. So much warfare is needed. It may not be something that you can just pray about once and, and the chains be released, you know? Um, so the Lord says, don't stop the warfare. Don't stop praying. Okay. Um, I think that's all I have to say today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you.